seven oddest women who have broken records by giving birth to many children. Number one, Maryam Nabatanzi. Maryam Nabatanzi, widely known as Mama Uganda, is a Ugandan woman who has gained worldwide attention for miraculously giving birth to 44 children. Born around 1980, she was forced into marriage at the age of 12 and became a mother for the first time at just 13. Due to hyperovulation inherited from her family, doctors recommended continuous childbirth to reduce her fertility levels. By the age of 36, she had been pregnant 15 times and had given birth to a total of 44 children, including twins, triplets, and quadruplets, of whom 38 are alive. Despite her husband abandoning her in 2015 and leaving her with a financial burden, Miriam continues to work hard to provide for her large family. Number two, Sue Radford. Sue Radford is a 49-year-old woman who is known for giving birth to many children. Her journey began at the age of just 14 when she first became a mother, and since then, she has given birth to a total of 22 children with her husband, Noel. Sue says she and her husband initially only wanted three children, but later they changed their plans, decided to expand their family, and gradually had 22 children. By giving birth to so many children, Sue not only became a unique mother, but she and her husband have created the largest family in the UK, which is known worldwide as the Radford family. Number three, Kelly Jo Bates. Kelly Jo Bates, the mother of the well-known Bates family, was born in 1966 in the United States. She married Gil Bates in 1987 at the age of 21. Kelly had hoped not to have children until their marriage was five years old, but she became pregnant just a few months after the wedding. After the birth of their first child, the couple went on to have a total of 19 children, including 10 daughters and nine sons, with the goal of building a large family. Currently, all their children live together in the same house, maintaining a strong relationship with each other. Besides, Kelly is also a grandmother and has a total of 28 grandchildren. Number four, Michelle Duggar. Michelle Duggar is a TV personality who has earned worldwide recognition for being the mother of 19 children. She was born in Arkansas in 1966 and married American politician Jim Bob Duggar in 1984 at the age of 18. Four years after their marriage, Michelle gave birth to her first child and gradually gave birth to a total of 19 children as of 2009, all of whose names start with the letter J. Despite the challenges of raising such a large family, Michelle is noted for her dedication to her role as a mother and the management of her family. Number five, Desiree Hart Spiegel. Desiree Hart Spiegel, a 35-year-old woman from Texas, is part of a blended family with her husband, Christopher, that has grown to an astonishing 19 children. When they met in 2013, Christopher already had eight children from previous relationships, while Desiree had three of her own. After getting married in 2014, the couple had eight more children together over the next several years, bringing their total to 19 children. They spend a significant amount of money on birthday and Christmas gifts, household groceries, and other necessities to manage such a large family. Despite receiving criticism for the large size of their family, Desiree believes that their children will grow up to be valuable assets to society. Number six, Rosa Peach Aguilera Roca. Born in 1965, Rosa Peach Aguilera Roca is a Spanish writer and the mother of a remarkable family. She married Jose Maria Postigo in 1989, and they share the dream of raising a large, happy family. Later, she became the mother of not five, not 10, but a total of 18 children. Tragically, the father of 18 children and Rosa's husband, Postigo, died in 2017 at the age of 56. Since his death, Rosa has continued to raise her children and guide them to find joy in her family life through writing. Number seven, Jenny Bunnell. A mother from Queensland, Australia, Jenny Bunnell, has given birth to 16 children. She initially did not want to have children after marriage, but her husband, Roy, inspired her to have kids who come from a large family. The couple welcomed their first child in 1989, and since then, she has given birth to a total of 16 children, including nine boys and seven girls. Jenny has thyroid cancer, but despite this, they don't use birth control and consider children a blessing. However, this 18-member family lives together and adheres to a strict schedule to manage their large family, 